Hey guys, it's Friday, and I thought that I would maybe finally take you on a tour of my new apartment, at least until March. So, here we go. That was Neville. So this is the apartment, basically. Yay, isn't it so exciting? I have a table, and I have my little Christmas tree, and... And baby Jesus, can't forget him. Work sent me that water bottle, so I set it there. I don't know. Um, couch. This is where I sit most of the time on my laptop. Um, Neville must have been sleeping here. Um, a picture that I need to put on the wall, maybe the nice wall of darkness. The TV that I didn't know that I was going to have. My monkeys, <laughs> presents, um, these are the DVDs that I, um, felt the need to bring, you can see I did bring all of Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings and Gilmore Girls, um, the kitchen, I have some pictures, and there's nothing too exciting. I put Neville's food up here because he keeps knocking over his water bowl. <sighs> and I actually don't have any water in that one. I have it in that little small bowl because he keeps knocking it over onto the carpet. That's where his food used to be. And I got mad at him, so I stopped. Um, hi, guys. It's the bathroom in my, like, super big tub that makes me want to actually take a bath. Um, and then my bedroom with the blanket that is clearly meant for a twin bed, but I mean, I don't care. Make it work, right? And then the side, the only part of the apartment that's actually like personalized, and I literally just put up all of my paper posters for this video. <laughs> so... Um, these are all the little trinkets that I felt were worth bringing with me. Um, oh, look, it's much brighter now. So, yeah, and then posters. Like my Lizzie Bennett poster, which got super, super wrinkled by a journey that I had no control over, and a cat all the stuff that goes in a desk that I do not have. Uh, not a pretty view. And then my books, which you can see my Harry Potters and Hunger Games and some Jane Austen and a bunch of like Tim Keller and John Green. I only brought the Faults in Our Stars, actually. Which is sad because I would kind of like to reread some of the other ones. But I only had so much room, you know? So, yay! Awesome. I'm officially done with orientation. And I had my first day actually just like on my own as a nurse on Christmas. So I have the whole weekend off until then. I had orient like sim lab orientation yesterday and today. Today wasn't too bad. It was only half day and it was actually like simulated experiences so like we got to actually like act out situations yesterday it was all just like skills and you're like I have been doing like how to start an IV how to put in a Foley catheter and I'm like yeah I know how to do this but whatever I got paid for it so I guess can't complain too bad um yeah nothing else too exciting going on today I've been having tons of Lizzie Bennett Diaries feels. Um, I'm just feeling really sad about Lydia, so if anybody wants to cheer me up, okay. I know she's not real. This is a weird video because I filmed where I can't see myself. So now I'm looking like <laughs> out here to the mirror so that I can actually see if I'm in frame or not. Yeah, anyway, I don't you guys love it? I really like my dresser though, like, it makes me happy, all of my happy things. So basically I can just kind of like lay in my bed, 
can see my happy things. You'll see I brought two kaleidoscopes, which are, I guess, my two favorites. They're the ones that are prettiest on the inside, maybe. And Neville, who is just like, why are you looking at me? Oh, yeah. I didn't show you my closet. I guess I could show you that. Closet. Look how few clothes I brought. I brought a lot of dresses, actually. So, litter box. This is such a thrilling adventure video. Okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I hope everybody's Merry Christmas. And guess what? You survived the end of the world. Woohoo! Bye.